continues to live in safety and peace in our homeland, Syria. But in a blink of an eye, war transformed our lives to destruction. We left our homes, going up the mountains, and across rivers without knowing what to do or how to endure. We arrived here, in Sudan, in a new and strange land. Feeling its kindness and welcoming spirit. But hardships and obstacles intensified. The heat was unbearable, our children's education uncertainty in finding our next steps to survive. Nevertheless, we found the support we needed. We've joined a program focused on capacity, building in psychosocial support and peer helping, including self-reliance and self-resilience. Me. I was born into a war. A life of hardship engulfs me. Our sole survival is our closeness. When devastation strikes, we break away. I found myself in the north. There is no war, but I'm alone. Being swept into danger. I become surrounded by violence, harassment, and racism. All alone with no one to shield me. Miraculously, I was saved from the turmoil in my life. Through the child therapy and professional counseling, I have survived the furrows of harm. For us, I am Ethiopian and I am Eritrean. pushed away from our homeland. We came to Sudan, a country cherished by our ancestors. Similarities in appearance and tradition does little to shield from harassment and discrimination No feeling of safety, no stability, frustration, violence, discrimination. Our situation has become tragic. Until came those who listened and empowered. When we formed the Together Youth Platform Program, through which we are now conducting community healing programs, narrative theater, and family support programs. Out of the 60,000 refugees in Khartoum, half are children and youth, 
are borrowing hopes and dreams for a better future. The road to resilience is tough and full of hardships. More collaboration and coordination is required. These programs provided by Ahfad Trauma Center and Ahfad University for Women 